Hello everybody, Marcos Vegas here in Los Angeles with Ruslan Provodnikov and his manager and translator, v Vadim Kornlikov. And Ruslan, looking at this matchup, you know, this week, the training that was involved uh, to get to this point, let me know how this last week of training at the wild card was for you and what did you do to put everything together? Все прошло по плану, все замечательно. То есть подготовка была очень хорошая. Меня это радует, как бы, и я готов. Сейчас осталось только выйти и поставить большую жирную точку. Everything went as planned. That makes me very happy. You know, I'm ready 100%, and all that's left is just come out and put the, you know, the thick period at the end of it all. Looking at, at Bradley here today at the press conference, you know, was was there something that you saw in him, or was there a feeling that you got when when you looked at him? You know, what went on through your mind uh, when you did see him in that face-off before you weigh in with him? Ну, что можно почувствовать? Он 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 опытный боксер, профессионал, поэтому я думаю, что даже если он волнуется, то он это <laughs> очень хорошо умеет прятать. Мы, мы спортсмены, мы это умеем делать, поэтому все будет видно в бою, все будет видно в бою. So it's hard to say anything. He's very experienced. Uh, he's very focused. Um, you know, the fight's going to show everything. It's hard to see something at the press conference, but the fight will show. You're wrapping up this camp as well. Your first camp fighting at 147 pounds. How was it different? How do you like it compared to a, a full camp at 140 pounds? Не, разницы нет. Единственное, что мне меньше сейчас меньше практически гонять не нужно, то есть поэтому это меня радует и это хорошо, как бы я себя чувствую замечательно. I don't feel any difference. I feel even better because I have to lose a lot less weight, so I feel great. You know, it makes me feel even better. Speaking with Tim, he he mentioned that his family and where he came from, how he grew up, was his motivation for winning in the ring and, and taking him through moments that he was in danger. I'm going to ask you the same question. You know, what do you think of when you're in danger in the ring and, and what motivates you to get you past that point inside there? Я могу сказать, что то же самое, потому что у меня моя жизнь была тоже не очень легкой, как бы я из маленького поселка практически вырос на на улице, как бы и это меня мотивирует и то, что я сегодня нахожусь здесь, я уже сделал, а прошел огромный путь и это то есть это победа это шанс изменить всю мою судьбу всю мою жизнь то к чему я шел it's very alike you know i came from a small town in siberia you know i'm already doing a lot for my people but but this is a big chance for me to do even more and uh it's, it's the same you know in a tough moment my my background is going to give me a lot of a lot you know a lot of character to go on and you guys will see that fight week is usually a stressful week for fighters uh, how do you deal with the stresses of fight week? And, and what do you usually do to eat and, and make sure that your weight is on track as well? Ну, еще раз говорю, я не гоняю, поэтому ем, ем так же обычно, то есть мясо, рыбу, фрукты. Ну и для того, чтобы не переживать, как бы, я просто не думаю об этом. Вот и все, как бы. It doesn't bother me. Uh, you know, I'm not making a lot of weight. A lot, I'm not losing a lot of weight this time, so I'm just eating as usual. You know, having a lot of proteins, meat, chicken. Um, fish and uh, fruits and uh, as far as stress it doesn't bother me I just I just don't think about it I'm very relaxed well we're gonna see you on Saturday night good luck going up against Timothy Bradley catch it main event on HBO man right next to me Ruslan Provodnikov versus Timothy Bradley